A deadly combination of heroin and animal tranquilizer is killing people in the tri-state. More than 3,000 people died in the state last year from accidental overdoses. It's called carfentanil, and in the U.S., people are dying and overdosing from the toxic opioid, including this now infamous photo of a man and woman in Ohio passed out in their car with the woman's four-year-old grandson in the back seat. Police suspect the heroin was laced with carfentanil. When we describe this as a superhuman drug, um, it's not to attract people to it. Uh, it's because it's literally what it is, where you know micrograms of a dosage of these opioids can kill and have killed. Dr. Varani says that while addicts might live in fear that the next hit may be their last, it's not enough to curb their addiction. There's a demand that's driving this opioid crisis, and organized crime is meeting that demand with more and more toxic opioids because they're easier to traffic. Police say carfentanil is likely manufactured in China and shipped to drug traffickers in Mexico. And with a click of a button, you can buy it online too. In Winnipeg last week, police seized about 1,500 blotter tabs that they believe contain carfentanil. In June, Canadian border officials intercepted a package in Vancouver containing a kilogram of carfentanil. But Dr. Varani believes carfentanil may already have slipped through borders and onto Canadian streets. Typically, when the police sees something, it's not the first shipment that's tried to make its way across a border. Dr. Varani believes that a comprehensive health approach is needed to deal with what he calls a public health emergency. Changes that would include additional supervised injection sites, more treatment for opioid addicts, and making sure that first responders are equipped with the medication used to reverse an overdose. Cass Rusi, CBC News, Toronto.